The month of April is National Autism Month. Jorge Dominguez is the well-regarded editor of Brooklyn's diocesan Spanish language newspaper, Nuestra Voz. He's also the father of a very special young man. They join me at the anchor desk. Tomas, the most important question I have for you is how has living with autism affected your life? Well, it has affected my life in many ways. It has affected how I communicate with people. It has affected how I act in public. And I've even lost friendships because of how I act. In what way? Like, how have you lost friendships? Is it because people don't understand? I don't know. I guess maybe I always misunderstand things, mm -hmm. and I always end up getting angry for the lowest things. And I do regret that, but I feel like it's going to make me a more better person in the future. Jorge, uh, when, when you hear your son speak in, in such eloquent terms about such a difficult illness, uh, talk to me about the experience for you and your family. Yeah, well, of course, we are very proud of Tomas That's in the right. family, and it takes a family uh, um, to, to support and to, you know, and to care for, for a person that have autism. Mm -hmm. And to have, Tomas have come a long way uh, with the help of the family. Sure. Uh, this month, by the way, uh, the family in Miami, our friends and family, they marched for Tomas with okay. the teachers and everything. <laughs> they were the always marching, yeah. all of them marching for we're Tomas. We're looking at the pictures here. You know, it, it, I love that there's such a support system, but this is a mystery to so many people, Tomas, um, even in the medical field. Do you expect uh, that we're going to have answers to a way to combat this illness in your lifetime? Well, I don't know about that. I guess it depends on if the doctors work really hard on it. Mm -hmm. I guess it depends if we raise enough awareness. And I feel like maybe if we can raise enough awareness, maybe it could be possible if we could find a type of cure in my lifetime. You know, I know you work a lot about uh, bringing awareness, like you just mentioned. You write about it a lot as well. Do you, you have a less profound form of autism. Do you, in, in your spare time, because I know you're busy, talk to peers, maybe mentor them, those with more severe forms of autism? I have lots of friends who have autism, and I do mentor one or two of them. I know there's this one kid who has very severe autism in my school who asks the same questions over and over again, mm -hmm. and it can get annoying for me sometimes, but I deal with him and I answer the questions, and he asks like the most questions. <laughs> I Just Trust me, people do that to me too, so I completely understand your frustration, <laughs> Tomas. And, and yeah. I think that that's something that uh, is, is important for us to know that your frustrations are the same frustrations that, that other people that don't yeah. have the illness suffer. Um, what do you want people to know most about autism? I want people to understand that it is a difficult disability and that they... <sighs> don't take your time, take your time. It's a difficult subject to talk about. But what, what, what is the greatest message you have? The greatest message you have is that if if you see a kid with autism sitting alone, go and talk to him, no matter how annoying he may act. Just go up and talk to him and try to be his friend and be there for him. He may really appreciate it, even though he doesn't show it. Meeting Tomas, probably the high point of my life. He's such a special young man. Finally tonight, a young Mexico City boy with autism joining his mother and father, Luis Vasquez, at a concert performed by the family's favorite rock group, Coldplay. It's a touching and emotional experience as Chris Martin sings, Fix You. Yeah, having a little trouble keeping it together there. The YouTube video has been watched more than three and a half million times. Chris Martin has sent out a tweet saying, Hello, Luis and your beautiful son. This kind of thing makes it all worthwhile.
Yes, it does. Thank you so much for being with us tonight. Please remember to be here tomorrow at 1158 a.m. for the Currents Midday Report. And for the entire Currents News team, I'm Liz Fobles. Have a great night. Thank you.